what is going on YouTube? How you guys doing? That's just every video. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, today we are doing something that you have all been waiting for and we're gonna clean up a few other things. Depending on how long it takes, we're probably gonna go for a drive. I already did the other side, but basically you're just gonna start from scratch here. Um, deleting these, putting some new style toe mirrors on. Now, disclaimer. I am not wiring wiring in the backup lights or like the the running lights to have the the running lights on all the time. Basic wiring on these because I plan on doing switchback LEDs in the future and doing a, a mirror build. I'm just swapping them over for now just to get these other mirrors off my truck. So yes, we will go over an actual install of like switchbacks, wiring these things up legit, but for right now, we are strictly doing a mirror install, like plug and play, that's it. Super simple, like 10 minute job, not even. And yeah, so let's get to it. Uh, I also grabbed some stuff, We're gonna put the front fender flares back on. And um, with that, maybe we'll go for a drive. I'll put a GoPro on the back window and we'll go through the gears and all that stuff. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so I am extremely short and this truck is extremely tall now. We're basically gonna go over everything. So to start out, I'm using this little tire poker thing. Kind of whatever works. It's something that you're not gonna completely destroy this. I'm gonna pop out the lock from the back side. Uh, over here, it comes out a lot easier. There's a little lock tab on this one. The bop back pops right out. Next, you're gonna come and you can reach your finger. Let's see if you can see. Reach your finger right in here. You're gonna pull the back side of this out, open the door handle, and slide it off. So that takes out this, super simple. I I'm telling you guys, this takes like five minutes. Um, you need about four tools for this. One being a T20 Torx tip bit for this screw right back here. Obviously if you're wiring it legit and stuff, it takes a lot longer. Cause you have to like actually make your all your own wiring and stuff for the reverse lights and all that good stuff, but like I said, strictly just kind of plug and play right now. There's one screw. Next, you're gonna need uh, a seven millimeter on a ratchet and a handle. You don't need a ratchet, they're not very tight, but it's, my tools are still yard sale everywhere, so I can't find them. So you're just gonna spin. There's a screw up here in the, uh, where you took the lock, little lock slider off. There is a screw up underneath the door handle here. You can see right there. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. I couldn't find my small ratchet. I'd rather be doing this with a small ratchet. It's easier to get the small seven in there, but this will do the trick. Then the last thing, there's a little pop rivet right here. Just like a plastic body clip that comes out. Now, I will say, um, because we have tweeters wired into my doors, I can't just unplug them and take them off as easy. So I kind of have to hold it and set it up. But the last thing you need to do is right up here. Is this just pops out. Take this off, just three or two little body clips. And then you can take this foam right out of there. So now that everything is off there, I'm gonna try and uh, set you up in a way so that you can kind of see what's going on. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'll kind of show you what's going on here. All right, so 
we still have all the wiring for the, uh, I guess the windows, door locks, whatever. But these two back clips here, if I can get them out, Oops. are for the mirror wire. So, because I can't really leave this here, we're gonna move this up and over. I'm just gonna set this back on. Just for... These holding things. I don't know why this one's being such a pain in the butt. Good enough. Anyways, so now we are going to take you're gonna take a 10 millimeter. You don't have to use a deep, but for the new mirrors I did. There's three bolts for the mirror. So what I usually do is, because the wonderful thing called gravity, take the bottom two off first. And now you're going to want to hold the top of the mirror. It's kind of hard on this truck because it's so tall. But basically hold the top of the mirror so the mirror doesn't fall. You don't really want to break these tabs, not the end of the world, but you want to get these three little plastic tabs out, and then the whole mirror should slide right out. Super simple for removing them. Oh, come on. Mirror's out in, I think, five minutes, so we'll go over the installation of the new one. All right, we will open up the new mirrors right now which I believe I already showed you guys uh, I do have some color match caps coming or not color match but some paintable caps on the way basically uh, Yida Motors I got these from a buddy of mine but Yida Motors uh, 2015 and a half style tow mirrors oh, kind of so you get your wiring uh, I'm guessing this little wire I couldn't find a wiring diagram. This little wire is for the backup lights or whatnot. Like I said, not a big deal. I'm gonna get you guys set up. I'm gonna go over uh, installing these. All right guys, basically super simple. They go in the way they came out. So the way I do this, something sounds a little bit loose in there, but so we got the the mirror set in. <clears throat> and take your top bolt. And just thread it down. Once that one's kind of snugged up against the body, you can let go of the mirror, holds itself. Basically, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tighten these three bolts up and assemble all this stuff, which is just the reverse order. You're gonna plug everything in, put the panel back on, put all the little stuff in, all the bolts in. And I'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, so first things first, we're gonna test to see if they work. Oh, yeah. Money. I need to go up a little bit, but that one's good. I don't know if you can see this one. There we go. Yeah, come on. 
that one's pretty good. I like these mirrors. I like the bottoms on them. You can really see a lot. I mean, the, the range of view is awesome. Super stoked. Uh, so they work. I'm gonna move the truck. That way we can get a good view of them, not in the sunlight. And then we'll probably put the front fender flares on. Alrighty guys, take a look at that. We have the tow mirrors on. And just for haha, as I back the red truck up, just so we can see the difference between it. So, you can see there's a pretty good difference between them. Uh, pretty much stock height on like 33s. And this is about 12 inch lift on 38s, eh, 10, 12, whatever you want to call it. But it's looking killer with the tow mirrors on. I'm super stoked. Uh, I'm going to try and find the rivets. I bought some double sided tape. We're going to get the front fenders on or fender flares on for now until we can clean it up. And yeah, pretty easy install. Like I said, we'll be going over switchbacks and all that stuff later. But other than that, Killer. I'm loving it. Truck's finally coming together after a very long time. Alright, new 3M double side tape is laid down. Uh, guys, honestly, I didn't go too crazy about cleaning these or whatever because they're coming right back off. We have body work to take care of and wrap stuff to do maybe or paint, whatever, whatever we decide to do. So uh, these are not staying on for very long. I just want to do it on. Do it put them on to get the clean look of matching front and back so that's kind of what we're doing so don't think I'm half-assing this I just I know they're coming off so I'm not gonna go super crazy on wasting my time when I can do it next time I might have to do it again anyways so we're gonna st stick these on real quick all we're gonna do oops you know peel it off the double-sided tape you're gonna lay the bottom side around first and once it's kind of hook hooked in you just stick it on. Easy day, not too hard. We'll get it done real quick, we'll do both sides. And that will be that, and then that should wrap up everything I wanna do with the truck today at least. So, yeah. All right, fender flare is back on on this side. I still gotta do the other side. But for now, I like that. I wonder if I can get that to stick down or something. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do some playing with that, but anyways, everything is on, ready to go. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you as always for tuning in. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time. We got the 12-inch lifted Duramax on 38s. Got the the red daily LOI. You know, just kind of chilling next to it. So, all right, guys. Thank you, thank you as always. Uh, just a kind of quick cleanup day, change things a little bit. But I'm out. I'm gonna go do some stuff. Maybe I'll record a video for later or something. I'll see you guys later. Uh, enjoy the weekend.